Model Context Protocol, or MCP, is an open protocol that standardizes how AI models connect to different data sources and tools. It seems like there are new MCP servers popping up daily, and I wanted to better understand what's available to me as an Android developer. So I spoke with Jose from the Android Developer Relations team. I'm really excited about this topic because MCP makes agents a lot more useful and developers a lot more productive. So let's dive in. When an agent starts a task, it tells the LLM which features are available. For example, Android Studio has tools like Read File, Find Usages, or Gradle Sync. NCP allows you to extend this list of tools, adding your own. What's a specific task that I can complete with additional tools at the agent's disposal? A good example is GitHub's NCP server, which gives you access to your repositories, issues, pull requests, etc. Let me show you. You just need to configure it, following the documentation, and get a personal access token. With that, I can now ask questions like, are there any issues assigned to me in the now an Android GitHub repo? The agent sends this prompt to Gemini, and Gemini will use the new tool that the MCP server is exposing. This tool is called List Issues. As you can see, the agent also needed to call Search Repositories because I said now in Android, but didn't specify which org it belongs to. I guess there's a way to tell the agent where that GitHub repo lives. Yes, if I open the context dropdown, you can see new options here, agent.md and something called rules. I can edit these rules in the settings. For example, in the project rule, I can write the project is hosted in github.com slash android slash now in Android. Now, that rule is going to be added to every task so if I start a new one and ask, show open issues assigned to me, I don't have to specify where the project is hosted anymore, and we can save one tool call. So could the agent resolve an issue directly from Android Studio? Exactly. All the details are already in the context, so you can have the agent start the implementation instead of going into GitHub yourself. This is just one example, but the more you use agent mode, the more MCP servers and rules you'll want to add. Now, having lots of tools inflates your context, so I suggest disabling the MCP servers that you're not using. That's a great tip. When can I start integrating MCP into my workflow? Well, this is already available in the latest stable version of Android Studio, so you can try it out today. <laughs>